Let's talk about how to preview your work in 90 Second Website Builder. Hi, this is Greg Hughes with another video tutorial. The preview feature in the software is really important. It's something that you'll use as you are designing. It should be part of your workflow because you want to be able to preview or see what your website looks like when it's online. It's important to understand that when you're building your website in this software, you're not working in a browser. You're working on a drag and drop platform, a canvas we call it. Now this canvas is not a web browser. It's a place where you would design the website, of course. But if you want to see a website, a website has to be viewed. HTML pages have to be viewed through software that views that kind of document. And that software is called a browser. And of course, everyone has a browser so that they can look at pages on the internet. So the way this works is 90 Second Website Builder needs to look at your work in a browser. And to do that, it needs to generate your HTML page or pages so it can then open them in a browser. Now, all of that happens, of course, quickly in a matter of microseconds when you click the preview button. So let's talk a little bit about how to do that. First of all, there's multiple ways to get to the preview. One is to click this icon right here. And if we click this button, we'll open up a browser and preview the web page I'm working on right here. There's also another one up at the very top corner here where it says preview and browser. I can do that. And you'll see that as we hover over these, it also suggests the keystroke F5. You'll notice in many of my videos, I'll say, let me click F5 to preview my work. And that's what I'm doing. I'm basically pulling up this feature. F5 will be the default unless your Windows operating system is using the F5 key for something else. If you have other software that's running that needs F5, it might interfere with that. So you can either use F5 or click one of these buttons. Now let's do that because I have a web page here that I'm working on. This website and this web page is built almost entirely with layout grids. And so there's a lot of things I can't see how they're going to look unless I preview. And so as I'm designing, I'll often click F5 or press the preview button. So let's do that right now. And you'll see that it's going to generate a page. That little notice that popped up that says generating index page, it's actually generating the page that I've designed in 90 Second Website Builder and then opening it in the browser of my choice. And so now I can see how my web page behaves when it's in a browser, or in other words, when it's online. And this is important because there's a lot of things happening on this page that I would never be able to see unless I was previewing. I'll scroll down so we can see what the page is doing and I can see what it looks like. And again, this is something I do constantly as I'm designing. I'll click F5 just to see how my work's coming along and to see certain effects. Let me show you what I mean by that. For example, on this page, as you saw, there's some kind of movement with these images. I can't see in the canvas. I have to be in a browser. Also, I have a hidden layer. And in the canvas, I have it sort of grayed out here because I'm showing some hidden layers. But you wouldn't see this until it's activated with a trigger or triggered by an event. In the canvas, you're going to see all these blue lines that make up my layout grids. Of course, those aren't going to show. Also, I have some bookmarks or anchors here. Those are for design purposes and they are very functional, but you don't see them in the browser. You don't want to see them. So the canvas is kind of behind the scenes of your work and the preview in a browser is what's going to be publicly seen, sort of what's on stage. Let me preview again. And one of them was that you see this animation of this text and you're seeing the animation of this image in my carousel. Actually, just to see the carousel work, I have to be previewing in a browser like that. So I can see how it really flows. Other things that I can't see unless I'm in a browser, I have this little cookie policy right here that comes up. So when the page loaded, I got my cookie policy, which is done with a sticky layer. I can't see that in the canvas. I want to see how it works online. And so I would do that. Let me click it to make it go away. Also, there's some things, other things happening. And this is an important one. I have um, a layer that's hidden. It's not showing anywhere on here until the user clicks this button. So let me click it. And it animates, it opens, it shows some text, it shows a video, it, it shows another button to go to. All of these are important to see how they work before I go live online. And that's why the preview is so handy. Let me close this. And you want to, when you're doing this, you want to check how things work. Now, one of the things that comes up a lot with the preview feature, 
uh, people will say, hey, I'm previewing my work, but my links don't work. I'm previewing the page, but every time I click on a link, it doesn't go to the page. And there's a very good reason for that, and that is this. When you are previewing your work, by default, you are only previewing one page at a time. Now, that's important because when you click the preview button, the software has to generate this page so you can see it. If you were to generate all of the pages on your website, which you can do, I'll show you in a second, you have to know that if you're building a very large website, that preview could take a while because it needs to generate each page. So if you're building a website that's hundreds of pages, you want to be careful about previewing your entire website. Just pre be prepared to wait for that preview to load. If you're just building a small website, 20, 30, 40 pages, whatever, it's probably worth the wait. It's only in seconds. The point is, when you want to test multiple pages, in other words, navigation and linking, you would have to generate a preview for the entire website. And again, you can do that. All right, so let's go look at that real quick. You'll notice that under the preview uh, icon, either this one or this one, they're the same thing. I have a little down arrow and I have some options. And one of them is to preview it the entire website. If I click this, I just toggled that on. I just toggled the preview entire website on. So now if I go to preview this, you're not going to see a little dialog that says generating the index page. It's going to generate all of my pages. And in my case, that's unfortunate because this website has hundreds of pages on it. Watch what happens. I'll try it and see what happens. I'm going to click preview and look what it's doing. It's generating an index page. It's generating order page. It's gener going to generate a lot of pages for a long time here. I'm going to cancel this because I don't want it to take several minutes. And so that's one of the reasons you would not want to uh, preview your entire website. But again, you can, and if you need to test your links, you can do that. I have a tendency to test my links once it's online anyway, but you, you can go either way. Now, I'm gonna change that back. I'm gonna go back to here, and I'm gonna uncheck this. Notice it's checked now. By default, it was unchecked. So I'm gonna click this and not preview my entire website. So now when I click preview, it's just gonna generate the one page that I'm on, and we're gonna see that page in a browser. Okay. Enough about that. Let's talk about the browser itself. 90 Second Website Builder gives you the ability to choose the browser you want to use. Now, I happen to be using Google Chrome. That is what I use for my default browser. Let's go see how you do that, though. Again, if you go to the pull down and I click on Edit Browser List, I have a way to add browsers to my list. Right now, I'm using my default. When I click F5, it's set up to go to my default browser. Again, that's for me, that's Google Chrome but I can add other browsers. For example, here I've added Internet Explorer. And if I want to preview this website in Internet Explorer, I can do that. What happens is when I go to preview, you'll see that Internet Explorer is one of my options. I can use my default, in my case Chrome, by pressing F5, or I can go up here and select IE and see this website in this other browser. What if I wanted to use Firefox? Well, I'd have to add that one to the list. Let's do that really quick. So I go to Edit Browser List. I'm going to click Add. And I have to know where that browser software is on my computer so that I can add it to 90 Second Website Builder. Here's where it is. If you click on Browse, usually your browser software is going to be in your Windows operating system. So let's go there. And it's going to be in your program files, either the program files 86, or in this case, I happen to know that Firefox stores it in just the regular program files. And inside this folder, we're going to find Mozilla Firefox, and we're going to find the Firefox application. And if I click open, I'll be able to add this. I'll call it Firefox, since that's what it's called. Click OK. And now I've added another browser to my list. Let's click OK. Let's go up and see what the preview button does now. As I pull down, I now have three options, my default, IE, and Firefox. It's as simple as that. So if I was to click on this one, the website would then open again in that browser. Let's talk about a couple of other things about previewing your website locally. It's a very important concept to understand. I'm going to preview. I'll do it in Chrome. And I want to show you something that is, you don't have to know this, but it's slightly technical, but it, it's, an, it's a good way to understand what's happening. Notice the URL of this page. It's called index, but it's not online because we're pre previewing offline. This file has actually been temporarily generated. That's why it's in a temp folder, in a preview folder, so that I can see it. 
And in fact, you'll notice that it's not an HTTP or HTTPS because we are not online. We're on my local C drive. I'm looking at this web page offline on my C drive. And that's why this file path looks funny. It's not a URL. It's a file path to the local file on my computer. And that's an important concept to understand. I know that's a little bit technical, but as you're previewing, understand that you're looking at a local file. One other thing I want to cover is this. Notice this says index.html. And yet, when I preview this, I don't know if you caught this, you'd have to be pretty shrewd to notice this. But if I click preview again, watch what happens. Generating index.php. Now, wait a minute. This is a PHP file. Why is it generating an HTML file? Well, there's a very good reason for that, too. First of all, let me explain to you that I am using a PHP file for my index page. And I did that by going to Page Properties. And I set this as File Extension PHP. And the reason for that is because I'm using some PHP objects on this page. And so whenever you use something like a form or another PHP object, you want to use the PHP extension. However, PHP cannot be previewed offline. PHP files are a protocol that only work on a web server. So then how was I able to look at this? Well, I was able to preview it this PHP page because the software is smart enough to know that PHP can't be viewed offline. And so it's going to ignore the PHP code on this page and only show this file as an HTML. Now the way it knew to do that is by my configuring it. So if you go to tools, options, and then we go down to where it says publish and then under publish there's a little checkbox here that says remove PHP code during preview. Very important to check if you are working with PHP and you want to preview work because otherwise it just won't it won't happen. So that's a really good trick and that's why the preview was able to convert this to HTML temporarily and then show me my work without the PHP code. I'll have to go online to test my forms and other PHP objects. All of that to say, it's actually really easy to use. I showed you a lot of what's happening behind the scenes that you won't need to necessarily know all the time, but previewing is important and knowing why you're pre previewing what you're previewing is important. So again, if you wanna preview links and navigation or things that involve multiple pages, that's the time you would preview your entire website for the most part, you're going to want to preview one page at a time, though, to keep your preview functioning smoothly and quickly. But this is a great feature and in, an important tool in the design process as you're building websites with 90 Second Website Builder.